Hey guys, Expert Antelope here, back with another video, and today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today we are talking about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. We're going to start with her plan to raise the debt to $40 trillion. The overall price tag is more than $40 trillion in the next decade. You recently said in an interview that increasing taxes on the very wealthy plus an increased corporate tax rate would make $2 trillion over the next 10 years. So where is the other $38 trillion going to come from? Well, one of the things that we need to realize when we look at something like Medicare for All, Medicare for All would save the American people. But where's the other $38 trillion? A very large amount of money. And what we see as well is that these systems are not just a pie in the sky. They are, many of them are accomplished by every modern civilized democracy in the Western world. The United, uh, the United Kingdom has a form of single-payer health care, Canada, France, Germany. What we need to realize is that these investments are better and they are good for our future. These are generational investments so that not just they're not short-term band-aids, but they are really profound decisions about who we want to be as a nation and, as, and how we want to act as the wealthiest nation in the history of the world. Okay, cool, health care. But where's the other 38 trillion? Right, no, I, I get that, but uh, you, the price tag for everything that you've laid out in your campaign is $40 trillion over the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, I understand that Medicare for All uh, would cost more to some wealthier people uh, and to the government and to taxpayers while also reducing individual health care expenditures, but I'm talking about the overall package, you say it's not pie in the sky, but $40 trillion is quite a bit of money. Uh, and the, the taxes that you talked about raising to pay for this, to pay for your agenda, only count for two. And I'm, I'm, we're going by left-leaning uh, mm -hmm. analysts. Right. Well, when you look again at, again, how our health care works, currently we pay mu much of these costs go into the private sector. So what we see is, for example, you know, a year ago I was working downtown in a restaurant. Lady. You're not answering the question. No one asked you where you worked a year ago. I, I went around and I asked how many of you folks have health insurance. Not a single person did because these they were paying, they would have had to have paid $200 a month uh, for for a payment for insurance that, that had an $8,000 yeah. deductible. Wait a minute, so you're a waitress and you just went around to your customers asking them if they have health insurance? Oh my gosh. What these represent are lower costs overall for these programs. And additionally, what this is, is a broader agenda. This is so funny that she's able to maneuver her way around this question, but she does it in such an awful way to where it's so obvious and it's so obvious that the answer to where the other $38 trillion is coming from is nowhere because she doesn't have a plan for it. This is all just a huge leap for attention. We do know and we acknowledge that there are political realities. They don't always happen with just the wave of a wand, but we can work to make these things happen. And in fact, when, we, when you look at the economic activity that it spurs, for example, uh, if you look at my generation, millennials, mm -hmm. the amount of, of economic activity that we do delay purchasing homes, that we don't participate in the economy and purchasing cars, et cetera, as fully as possible, is a cost. It is a, a, an externality. You want to talk about an externality? Talk about the missing $38 trillion of funding for your plan. I've learned from this that AOC can move her mouth really well, but she can't seem to answer where the other $38 trillion is coming from. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it, and I just hope that this opens some people's eyes to how ridiculous Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez really is. I kind of changed it up with this kind of video today, but just leave a comment uh, letting me know if you guys liked it. And hey, I'm not complaining if you subscribe and like. That, that would be appreciated too. That said, bye guys.